it's Saria. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be showing you how to make this Dollar Tree tiered tray. Um, I have seen these on Pinterest before and I'm sure there's tutorials out there, but I did want to make one for my own home and I already had the supplies, which is going with my New Year's resolution. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'll have the video linked in a card above. But basically I have committed to not buying any more crafts for my channel until this giant box of crafts is empty next to me. So I already had the stuff for this. Um, it cost me four dollars. So I am going to be showing you guys how I made this. This will be a pretty quick video I think but I am going to try not to speed up a bunch of the clips because I really wanted you to be able to see how much glue I'm applying, how much paint I'm applying, things like that. In case you are a beginning crafter and that's beneficial. Um, let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to do more tutorials like that that are maybe at a little bit of a slower pace for the beginners. Um, yeah, just let me know because I am curious. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on any future Disney DIYs. And without further ado, let's jump into this tutorial. Okay, so to start off, you're going to need one of these pizza pans from Dollar Tree as well as a cake pan and then these two glass candle holders that were in the candle section. And then I am using my white Waverly chalk paint. However, if you have white spray paint or your New Year's resolution is, you know, nothing to do with not spending money, I would suggest going to get spray paint because I did have to do two to three coats on everything to fully get it covered really, really well. Um, I do suggest using a flat head, a little bit wider paintbrush. Normally I love using those Dollar Tree sponge brushes, but for the chalk paint on glass and metal, I do think that the regular paintbrush works a lot better. I did already have this paintbrush on hand and I will tell you Dollar Tree does have some flat um, wide paintbrushes that would be great for this. I just, again, I'm trying not to spend any money when I don't need to. And then, yeah, but I do think that if you used spray paint, you can get it for 98 cents at Walmart and you can do it all in one coat. Make sure that you are accounting for dry time with this because you have to paint both the front and the back um, and you might have to do multiple coats if you're using the chalk paint. You just want to make sure you have enough time for it to dry. Once it is all dry, you're going to assemble it. So I am just trying to get this first piece centered down on the pizza plate. The pizza plate is going to be the bottom piece and I am going to be applying this using both E6000 and hot glue. I would not do this with only hot glue. I don't think that it will hold up over time. E6000 is an extremely strong glue and the hot glue's purpose is to get it to stay in place for now. Like as the E6000 is drying because it does take time to set um, this glue. So I'm just going around the rim and applying a pretty good amount of E6000. I did try to get the excess to kind of go down into the the candlestick holder thing. Um, I do think that I used a little bit too much hot glue on this and I will have to go in and kind of clean it up using the end of a paintbrush. Um, so definitely go a little bit lighter on the hot glue than I did. You can even see it here. Once I push down it kind of oozed out a little bit. Um, also I have the big giant tube of E6000 which makes it really hard to control how much is like getting on everything. So if you have none and you're going to go buy a fresh tube I would get the small or medium sized tube because they have like a pointed end and it's a lot easier to control how much comes out. So yeah I just use the end of a paintbrush to kind of clean up the excess and next I'm going to add the next candlestick holder by flipping it upside down and I will be doing the same gluing method putting E6000 down around it and then a little bit of hot glue as well. And 
And then once you have your glue applied, just make sure that you are lining up the edges of these two candle holders because you want like the pointed parts to line up so that it looks like one cohesive piece. And then just kind of firmly press down on the top and then you're just gonna kind of let it sit for a minute. I did let this sit just for, I would say two minutes or so before I added on the last piece, which is the pie plate. Now, the good thing about using E6000 is that if you do need to shift anything around, you do have a little bit of time once you've set it down to kind of adjust it one way or the other if you need to. Um, not too much, obviously, because you'll smear the glue everywhere, but it is kind of a little bit more forgiving. So I'm doing the same method. I'm taking my E6000 and putting it around the rim of the top of these candlestick holders, and then I am going to take the... Oh, it's a cake plate. I'm sorry, I keep calling it a pie plate. A cake, the cake plate. And I'm going to um, add a little bit of hot glue and then firmly press down the last piece of this tiered tray on top. Now once you've let that set for a little bit, you can take your Mod Podge. I am using the glossy one from Dollar Tree, and I'm just using a sponge brush to go over this entire thing and just kind of seal all of the paint and glue in. Um, it's just kind of that last step to really give it more of a finished look. The more Mod Podge you put on, the glossier it will become, so if you do want it to have a really nice shine, Mod Podge is the secret. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial guys if you are looking to decorate this I would give it about 24 hours just to let that glue completely dry and set and then decorate to your heart's content be it for Valentine's Day or a special room in your house I hope you guys liked this tutorial if you have any questions leave them for me in the comments below and I will see you guys in my next video bye